Welcome, this is a last section of our course. In this section, we'll be looking at the analytical use cases and we'll be using techniques that we learn throughout this course. So we'll be using GraphX to solve analytical use case. We'll be calculating page rank using GraphX library. Then we'll be creating an abandoned card logic that is very often used in e-commerce sites. We'll be implementing it in Spark streaming, so it will be working in real-time way. And in this first video, we'll be looking at the page rank, and we'll be using Spark GraphX page rank to calculate it. So we'll answer a question what a page rank is. We'll be looking at the input data, and we'll be calculating page rank in GraphX. So let's first start from looking at the use cases of PageRank. So this is an algorithm used by Google Search to rank websites in their search engine results. And that was the first use case of PageRank. But then some more use cases arrived. So in neuroscience, the page rank of a neuron is a neuron network has been found to correlate with its relative firing rate. So it could be used in neuroscience also. Also, Twitter is using PageRank, so personalized PageRank is used by Twitter to present users with other accounts they may wish to follow. But how PageRank works? So it works by counting the number and quality of links to a page to determine a rough estimate of how important the website is. The underlying assumption is that more important websites are likely to receive more likes from other websites. And on this diagram, we can see that we have a lot of pages. So we have page A, B, C, D, E, F. So then there are links from one side to another. So for example, there is link from B to C and C to B. There is link from F to B, E to B, E to D, and so on and so on. And using the page rank, we can calculate that page B is the most influenced page because it has most relative content and we can use that algorithm to find out. And in our example that we'll be implementing, we will try to implement PageRank to find out who is the most well-known person on Twitter. So we'll be calculating it. So we are given a two files. First is a users, and those are our vertices. So we have a vertex one ID, and this is a Barack Obama. Then two is Lady Gaga, then three is John Rizain, then Justin Bieber, Mati Zaharia, Martin Oderski, and some anonymous system user. So we are given these vertices and also we have edges defined. So followers. So we can see that there is a following relationship between vertex 2 and 1. We can see what is it. So there is a following relationship between Lady Gaga and Barack Obama. Also, there is follower relationship from 4 to 1. Then Barack Obama is following 2, 6, 3, 7, 3, 7, 6, 6, 7, 3, 7. And we have graph that is defined this way. We can use a graph page rank algorithm to find out who is the well-known person and that is most followed person. So we can use that algorithm. So let's implement it. So this is our test. We are have tests that should calculate page rank using GraphX API. So firstly, we need to load our edges. So we are using a graph loader class that is from Spark GraphX that we learned in one of the previous sections. We are loading all edges. So we are taking followers file. Here we have edges defined from vertex two to one and so on and so on. It will load our edges. So it will return a graph that is from GraphX package. Next, we can start using PageRank. So we are invoking the PageRank method on graph. We are passing a tolerance. So we are tolerating 0.0001% of error. And we are taking our vertices from it. Next, we need to load our users. So we are using Spark text file. So we are loading a user's text file. That was our vertices, as we remember. We are mapping every vertex, so we are taking line, every line, and we are splitting it. So we are taking a field 0 and field 1 from this file. 
So this will be a tuple of username and its nick. Next, when we have our users loaded, we can join it with ranks. So we have our ranks that were loaded from those edges, from followers file. We can map it and it will return ID, username and rank. And we are interested in username and rank. So it will return a page rank for given username. Next, we are sorting it ascending. So at the beginning of the resulting list, because we are collecting everything to a list, there will be user that has the biggest page rank. So is the most followed person in our Twitter website. Next, we are printing all our page ranks and users. And our assertion is as follows. We are taking usernames. So we are mapping every tuple to username. And it should have those elements in this order. So Barack Obama should be the most followed person. Then Lady Gaga, then Odersky, Jersik, Mati Zahara, and Justin Bieber at the end. So let's start our test. And we can see that we calculated the page rank and test passed. So the biggest page rank was for Barack Obama. It was 1.45. Then Lady Gaga 1.39, Odersky 1.29, Jersik 0.99, Mati Zahara 0.71, and Justin Bieber 0.15. So we used a page rank to calculate most influencing person on our Twitter website. So it was a Barack Obama.